Hello, welcome back to our house. So I am right in the middle of a big canning project right now. I did it. I finally canned a couple weeks ago. I started canning. You know, I kind of put it off for a long time. If you've been watching, following along, you know, I had this kind of like, I don't know, nervousness about starting. So I started with water bath canning. Yeah, and it, it went well. We made a bunch of salsa. We canned probably a dozen pints of salsa and so now I've moved on we got another big amount of tomatoes and so I've made on spaghetti sauce so let me show you I have meat cooking because I'm gonna just go ahead and make it a meat sauce this is starting to boil in my jars that's the sauce that I made and I'm trying to get the flies away it's a gorgeous day so I have the windows open but you know flies I am trying to get this project done quickly because we are getting ready to leave. We are going to Illinois. We had, we have a funeral wake today and a funeral tomorrow. Really sad. Jason's uncle passed away. It was a tragic accident and very unexpected. And we're all really heartbroken about it. It was on Monday. Um, today is Thursday, so it was Monday night that we f we found out Tuesday morning. Anyway. Um, so I'm getting ready to pick out, you know, kids' clothes and pack up. It's about an hour and a half away from here. So we will be leaving for that um, shortly. Ah, it's just heavy on my heart. But in the meantime, life is going on here. This is the canning set that I bought so that I would have everything. I think I can link this. I, I think we got it from Amazon, so it's nice because it is. I think I'm ready. <laughs> so I'm still bringing this water to a boil, so I'm trying to be patient, but I'm also going to um, dip everything that I'm using into the boiling water so that it's all nice and clean. I, whoopsie, I hand cleaned it. Um, that water's too hot to touch. Of course, I, I washed it is what I'm trying to say in soap and water before I put it away the last time I used it, but I just want to make sure it's really clean, so I'm going to dip everything in the boiling water. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get my pressure canner to work. So I put in three quarts of hot water and it said add two tablespoons of vinegar and I turned it on high. I'm sure this isn't as complicated as this book makes it seem, but right now it feels really complicated. Okay, place the jars on the canner rack immediately after each jar is filled. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So we just filled, I started filling and now I'm reading as I go because I'm a, learn as I go kind of girl, so I actually did not um, figure this out ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, so we stuck our beginning of filled jars in here to keep them warm, so let's now move them into here, Bella. Be a professional can, we've been canning for years. <laughs> I did not I just know. hold my thing upside down. Don't we look professional? Only four jars, and that, that it'll take 70 minutes for just four jars. We can fit more, fit than, more than four, can't we? How many, how many can Five, we fit? I think. I don't know. That's max one. How many does it say we can fit? Let's look in the instructions. Because no. I would really like to do more than five. Okay, where's my instruction book? I lost it. Mom's it's official. We got seven quart jars in here. Okay, next step. Align the V mark on the cover with the V mark on the body handle. There's a V, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe we have to flip this all the way around. Hold it up in the air. Hold this up in the air. Because you're going to keep that V there. Do you see a V on, what did they say? Where's, where's the other V? How do you want to go? There. Oh, V. Okay. There we go. We're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. a weight. Okay. Uh -oh. So it says 10 pounds of pressure. Uh-oh. So that's Can just one little thing on here. So 10 pounds for meat sauce. Get lots okay. Of telling us all about their canning. I hope I, I hope they give us advice. This is this is, this is painful. Sweet. This is painful beginning, but yeah, every no beginning mind. has to begin. Yeah, there's okay. no beginning. Okay. Um, press down the cover handles to compress the ceiling ring. Turn the cover clockwise. We did that. Okay. Now position on level burner and range only. And it said to use the eight-inch burner to turn the eight-inch burner on. So I turned on the small one. So I realized as soon as I read the directions again after we turned the camera 
off that um, for the first 10 minutes of steam coming out, which it doesn't really look like there's steam coming out yet, but they said, there is, is there some? Okay, they said once oh, steam wow. comes out of here, you let that go for 10 minutes without this on, is what it said. I had this on right away, so I took it off. And after 10 minutes of steam, you can just set it there. Thank you. After 10 minutes of steam, then you put this on and you let it process. It says for 70 minutes the sauce. Then you turn the whole thing off and just let it sit as long as needed until cool, which will be fine for us. We'll let it sit the rest of the day. Pretty much it's going to make us late. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Um, it looks like it's starting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel it. Okay. That's what they said. Okay. So seams coming out. So that was... Um, that was seven minutes with this, so we need three more minutes of steam if it started right away at the same time. Hi, Mom. And we'll put on our pressure gauge and let it hopefully rock like it's supposed to for the next 70 minutes. Okay, right. Yeah, it's so for spaghetti for our lunch, we're doing the red lentil pasta. Now we we don't love the red lentil pasta like I had hoped we would. <laughs> I can't believe Benjamin is sleeping through this in the middle of the living room. Anyway. Um, we're, we're making it work. We're putting the sauce in it, the leftover sauce that I had canned. And then, um, I just have to like add Parmesan, olive oil, you know, just things to make it taste good because the red lentil pasta wasn't the favorite with some of the kids, but that's okay. Yeah, we liked it, Leo and I. It's been 10 minutes, so I just set this on here. I can see something happening here. Hopefully that's a good sign. Now we're going to put this on here and I guess it's supposed to start rocking and that's the sign that all is well. I don't know. That noise is my exhaust fan up here. I've got, I turn that on. So we've got a lot, a lot going on in here. So, oh, I hope I'm doing this right and that this thing just doesn't like explode or something. All right, it's been rocking. So this, um, pressure thing here is up just like on my instant pot that pops up and then this has been rocking I have it about medium high on my stove here yes I know that people. I know <laughs> that but I had my instant pot first so oh well okay by yeah. all means it's about you <laughs> it is I'm the ignorant one who's just starting out here so you just leave that rocking for whatever your recipe says. And then we're going to turn it off and run for the hills because we're going to be late, unfortunately. It can't be helped at this point. Um, it's going, it's got to go, and Jason's super understanding, so I appreciate that because we are going to be later than he'd hoped to be. Um, while that's going, I actually gave three boys haircuts really quickly in the other room. And I've been, and then they've had quick showers, and we're getting kids in clothes, and I'm gonna try to clean up this mess a slight bit. Ah! The mess. I heard somebody say that, uh, you know, the cute mo modern farmhouse kitchen style that's popular, that um, a real farmhouse kitchen actually doesn't look like that because it's messy, and that is so true. It's lived in, I should say. It's really used. There's mess and dirty dishes and lots of pans and lots of big bowls and everything can't be cutesy all the time because you're actually working. And that is so true, especially in my tiny kitchen. So you can see it's like soft explosion down the cabinets and everywhere else. But I'm going to tackle it and see how good I can get it in the next 20 minutes. We are leaving. I actually got the kitchen cleaned up. I just turned this off. I'm just going to let it sit there till we get home. And um, yeah, we are, we're out of here. Time to go. Good morning. It's a new morning. We got back late last night. It was probably, I don't know, 11.30 or something when we finally got back last night. It was late. We went straight to bed. So this morning I got up and I looked in my pot and guess what? I did it. I pressure canned spaghetti sauce. And <laughs> we really did it. I'm so excited. It worked. I have seven quarts of our very own spaghetti meat sauce. That's it. It's the beginning of a new adventure of canning for me. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I've got it. I think I've really got it. If you have any more tips for me, please leave them in the comments. I am an absolute beginner. Obviously, as you saw by our chaotic, um, you know, trying to figure it out. But there is a beginning for every new thing. 
and we took the step and we did it. Thank you so much for hanging with us while we did. We are getting ready to get dressed and head back to Illinois again today. We will see you all on Monday. We love you guys. Bye-bye.